It's not just restaurants and cafes I find irritating. Cinema I find annoying. I go to the cinema on my own a lot. I do go with my children from time to time, but I find it very frustrating <laughs> going with my children because I don't have a very discerning palate when it comes to watching films. They think everything's good, and I get frustrated that I can't talk to them about it. I went to watch Ice Age 4 with my son. It's a goddamn abomination, right? <laughs> Sitting there watching it thinking I can't wait to talk to him about it. We get out of the cinema. He goes to me, that was brilliant, wasn't it, Daddy? I'm like, I can't talk to you, can I? <laughs> White colours, loud noises, you're impressed. It was <laughs> bruv. <laughs> so anyway, I go to the cinema on my own a lot. I go to the cinema on my own a lot, but I like children's films. Now... <laughs> going on your own to watch a children's film at the cinema is a very selfish thing to do, OK? Cos what you are basically doing is you are ruining that experience for everybody else in the cinema. Because if you go with your kids to the cinema to watch a film and there's somebody that looks like me sat on their own in the theatre, you can't fully enjoy that film, right? <laughs> Not if you're a good parent. If you're a good parent, you're 80% watching the film, 20% checking to see if that guy starts wanking, right? That's... <laughs> that's if you're a good parent. I've had three kids and I regret it. You know, I, I, I do regret it. It's too many, isn't it? Isn't it too many? Who's got more than two kids? Yeah? What a shit error. Right? But what can you do? You can't kill them. You just gotta sit there and wait to die. Like, I can't believe we've done this. We are never gonna be happy. I know. I don't know why we did it. Well, it was your idea. It wasn't my idea. I said I don't like condoms. That's very different. I don't know why we had the third one. <laughs> I love when we had the second one, because the first one's a legend. <laughs> oh, my God, what a kid. Hello, Daddy. Love you, Daddy. Can I get you some toast, Daddy? Oh, my God, love that boy. Mm! <laughs> when we just had him, I said to my wife, do you know what, darling? I think we've mastered parenting. <laughs> Do you know what I think it is? I think it's just about setting clear boundaries <laughs> and being consistent. <laughs> <laughs> the second one, feral. <laughs> <laughs> I love him, but what a f this kid is, man. Like, I love him, but I do not like him. Sometimes I want him to get hurt. There you go, I said it. Sometimes I want this prick to get hurt. And let me explain why. He doesn't listen to a word I say, this kid. Five-year-old boy doesn't listen to anything I say. When we go out, he runs away. But not in like a cute toddler way, he runs away like he's fleeing ISIS. Just <laughs> headed for the house. People come and go, let's get you away from the bad man. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> let's be honest, I don't look like I'm not in ISIS. Yeah? <laughs> Sometimes I want him to get hurt, man. And I say to him, dude, don't do that. Because if you do that, you're going to get hurt. And then he does it. And he doesn't get hurt. <laughs> that pisses me off, right? Because that is... That is life telling him that I'm full of shit. That's what's happening. Now. <laughs> Trying to control these kids, man, it's hard. Who's got more than two? Who's got three? How many have you got, mate? Three. What's your name, madam? Danielle. Danielle. Hello, Danielle. How are you? What have you got? Uh, two girls and a boy. Two girls and a boy. Have you tried behaviour charts with your kids? Yeah. Yeah? We're trying to do behaviour charts with our kids, right? So we get a chart, you stick it up on the fridge. Well, you put it where you want, but... <laughs> ours is on the fridge. Every time your kid's good, you give them a sticker. When they get enough stickers, you buy them something because you're out of ideas. That's basically... <laughs> <it. You laughs> could yes. Obviously, you could promise some quality time, but what a massive ball ache that is. <laughs> I don't see why I should reward my children's behaviour by punishing myself.